Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Xander OG here, welcome back to my Prestige 6 update video. This is the first time in the last couple of Prestiges that I've actually been able to record a video as I'm Prestiging. As you guys can see, I am Prestige 5, level 55, max level achieved, Prestige mode available. We're just gonna hop straight into it, man. Enter Prestige 6, activating Prestige. There we go, man. Prestige 6. We'll quickly go through all my stats here. As you guys can see, I did get another nuclear. I did get a couple more Brutals, I think. I got a couple more Ultra Kills. No more Kill Chains, though, man. I've been trying to get some more Kill Chains, but I've gotten a few Ultra Kills and missed the last guy or I died or something. But hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to get some more Kill Chains here. I'm going to start grinding for some more Nuclears, man. I hope to have some more gameplay up on the channel for you guys that's more live and it's not as cut down as the other Nuclear gameplays. But yeah, man, now that we're done with Dark Matter... It's time to go through 100% the game. That's what me and the squad are going to try and do this year in Black Ops 4. We're going to actually try and get this 100%er challenge complete. So that means that we have to go through and do every challenge in the entire game. So that's going to be a grind. So that's going to be a grind. So you guys can expect some hardpoint gameplays, some search and destroy gameplays, some control gameplays, all variety of game modes. A whole variety of game modes you guys are going to be able to see here pretty soon because we have to play every game mode for so long to be able to get all these challenges done. So I hope you guys are ready for the new grind. As you guys can see, Prestige 6, level 1, exactly 8,000 deaths. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. Right here, exactly 8,000 deaths. I have 3 days, 3 hours, 21 minutes played. 431 score per minute, 2.11 KD. My KD's starting to go up a little bit because, as you guys know, I finally completed the Dark Matter grind, so I'm actually starting to play the game like I should be and not just going for headshots with the worst guns in the game. So let's do an overview of what I've been using over Prestige 5. Mostly it's been Ajax. I've been using a lot of the Combat Knife because I had to get it gold for Dark Matter, so I was using a lot of 9 bangs. So Ajax's stats have really been getting a little bit of a boost here and there. Still haven't used a lot of battery. I really think that her Cluster Grenade and her War Machine are really overpowered, so I don't really use Use them very often. I've been turning back the use of Crash a little bit because, like I said, I've been using a lot of Ajax. I've been using a lot of Profit, a lot of Recon here and there. Fire Break, still don't use him very often. I really don't like his Reactor Core and his Pure Fire. Nomad, I really haven't been using him a lot either because, personally, I think his Mesh Mines are really, really annoying to use. So I'd be kind of a hypocrite if I sit here and I complain about the Mesh Mines and then I use them. Profit. So as you guys can see, Shocked Enemy EKIA. 49 with a secret drone. I haven't really been using it much since I got all the headshots done for all the guns that I needed. I've been using a lot of Ajax. Recon. I've been using a lot of Recon as well while I'm playing Hardcore Free For All. You guys saw that in the last video that I uploaded. I'm going to start uploading a lot more Hardcore Free For All because I actually had a lot of fun playing that. It was actually pretty fun. Ruin. I still really don't use him that often. I feel like his grapple gun is really fun to use, but it's not really very useful. So like, it's, kind of, it's really fun to use, but it doesn't really benefit you in any way other than being able to move long distances pretty fast. Seraph. I still really don't use her. I want to start using her more often when I snipe on like TDM and stuff because I want to hit some nasty clips with the Annihilator. I remember in the beta I hit a 5 on with the Annihilator on Contraband. That was pretty sick. So I want to start using the Annihilator more so I can try and hit some nice little clips for you guys. And Torque. Torque. If you use Torque, you are a scumbag. Using Barricade and Razor Wire, you're a scumbag, man. You are a scumbag. The only reason I would ever use Torque is if I'm playing Worm style. If you guys remember Black Worm from Black Ops 2, Used to sit down the riot shield, camp behind it with guardians and sentry guns and stuff. That's the only reason I would ever use Torque, is if I was just going to camp with all this special issue equipment and weaponry and stuff. But yeah, man, if you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to catch all the other BO4 content I have coming to you guys. And as always, people, it's been Xander OG. Later.